Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now. A network of four capacitors, each of 12 microfarad. Let's put here 12 microfarad. This is also 12 microfarad. And this is also 12 microfarad. And this is also 12 microfarad. Connected to a 500 volt supply as shown in the figure. So here this is a battery giving 500 voltages. Determine the equivalent capacitance of the network and charge on each capacitor. This time they are not asking charge across the capacitors. No, they are saying charge on each capacitor. So you have to be little careful, right? So first of all, let me remind you once again, C1, if you allow the water to pass through this, this water will get splitted across the upper branch and the same water will go across C1, C2 and C3. While the water which is getting splitted here, C4 will be in parallel to the above circuit. So let's first find the above circuit. So for above circuit, okay. So for the equivalent of C1, C2 and C3, it will be 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3, correct? Okay. Now this will give us how much? This will give us C1 is how much? 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12, which is how much? 3 by 12 and 3 by 12 which will be equals to 4 so c equivalent for the upper branch is 4 microfarad be very careful so let's redraw from this point upper branch 4 microfarad capacity lower branch how much 12 microfarad capacity correct and this is going across circuit a B. This is our AB where our battery of 500 volt is connected, right? Now they both are in parallel. If they both are in parallel, the equivalent of these two will be C equivalent will be 12 plus 4, which is 16 microfarad, correct? 16 microfarad capacity. Now this is the equivalent of the whole circuit. So let's redraw this whole thing, okay? One second. Over here let me draw it here so this will be our 16 microfarad correct hole divided okay hole here with connected here with 500 volts great now first of all if here this is our 500 volt okay or look at the second diagram then the 4 microfarad and 12 microfarad, they both will have the same voltage, right? Because they are in parallel. If they are in parallel, then voltage across the upper branch will be same as the voltage across the lower branch, which is 500 volt. So first I will find charge, which is the total charge going into the circuit. So first answer over here we got as 16 microfarad. And let's solve for the charge. So charge here, let me solve it this side, second one. Q is equals to CV. Now what is C? 16 microfarad. Now you have to convert it into farad. And voltage 500. 16 fives are 80. So 8000 means 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 coulombs. Listen very carefully. This 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 is going across this whole circuit, across the 16 microfarad. So here it is 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 going across this. Total. Is it same across the upper branch and the lower branch? No. It will get splitted. Here it will go few and here it will go few. But whatever few it is going on the top branch, that will be same across all the three because they are in series. But that will be completely different from the lower branch. Let's see how. Since the voltage of the upper branch is 500 and the lower branch is also 500, let's find the charge across the lower branch. So charge across this 8 into 10 to the power 3 minus 3 is not across each capacitor. It is across the whole circuit. So charge across C4. What is the voltage across C4? Sir, 500 volt. And what's the capacity? 12. So let's find the charge across that. So voltage is 500 and capacity is 12. So 12 into 10 to the power minus 6. Correct. So let me call it as Q4 into what is the voltage? 500. 12 fives are 60. So 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb. 
we got this as q4. If out of 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb, if 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 is going across C4, what is going up in the upper branch? Across charge across C1 will be equals to how much? 8 minus 6. Let me repeat again. If 8 liters of water is going entering at that point out of which 6 liters of water is going here then how much water is left for the upper one 8 minus 6 which is 2 and since all of them are connected to the same pipe water will be same so 2 across each so across c1 q1 will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 coulombs this is our q1 let's call it q2 will also be 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb same because they all are in series and q3 will be equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 coulombs done so this is the charges across each capacitor q1 q2 q3 q4 